Victorious warriors win first and then go to war, while defeated warriors go to war first and then seek to win. Pretend inferiority and encourage his arrogance. He will win who knows when to fight and when not to fight. To fight and conquer in all our battles is not supreme excellence. Supreme excellence consists in breaking the enemy's resistance without fighting. He who knows when he can fight and when he cannot, will be victorious. Secret operations are essential in war, upon them the army relies to make its every move. A good commander is benevolent and unconcerned with fame. He who is prudent and lies in wait for an enemy who is not, will be victorious. For to win 100 victories in 100 battles is not the acme of skill. To subdue the enemy without fighting is the acme of skill. Thus, what is of supreme importance in war is to attack the enemy's strategy. Bok the enemy's power, force him to reveal himself. If ignorant both of your enemy and yourself, you are certain to be in peril. In the practical art of war, the best thing of all is to take the enemy's country whole and intact, to shatter and destroy it is not so good. The good fighters of old first put themselves beyond the possibility of defeat, and then waited for an opportunity of defeating the enemy. The enlightened ruler is heedful, and the good general full of caution, For them to perceive the advantage of defeating the enemy, they must also have their rewards. Know thyself, know thy enemy. A thousand battles, a thousand victories. The supreme art of war is to subdue the enemy without fighting. Invincibility lies in the defense, the possibility of victory in the attack. There is no instance of a nation benefiting from prolonged warfare. If you know the enemy and know yourself you need not fear the results of a hundred battles. All men can see these tactics whereby I conquer, but what none can see is the strategy out of which victory is evolved. If your opponent is of choleric temper, irritate him. Know your enemy and know yourself and you can fight a hundred battles without disaster. The opportunity to secure ourselves against defeat lies in our own hands, but the opportunity of defeating the enemy is provided by the enemy himself. If you are far from the enemy, make him believe you are near. The quality of decision is like the well-timed swoop of a falcon which enables it to strike and destroy its victim, there has never been a protracted war from which a country has benefited. Quickness is the essence of the war. Supreme excellence consists in breaking the enemy's resistance without fighting. Victory usually goes to the army who is better trained officers and men. He will win whose army is animated by the same spirit throughout all its ranks. 
To see victory only when it is within the ken of the common herd is not the acme of excellence. He will win who knows how to handle both superior and inferior forces. When envoys are sent with compliments in their mouths, it is a sign that the enemy wishes for a truce. Prohibit the taking of omens, and do away with superstitious doubts. Then, until death itself comes, no calamity need be feared. If we know that our own men are in a condition to attack, but are unaware that the enemy is not open to attack, we have gone only halfway towards victory.